Okay, so welcome guys. We've just arrived in uh, Villa... Villa de Leyva. Villa de Leyva. It's a very old colonial city. It's beautiful. We were actually planning to take exit. We were in a bus to this place, but halfway the road was blocked and uh, the bus didn't want to drive any further anymore. So we had to hitchhike and that's how we met this amazing guy. He picked us up right when we were hitchhiking on the road. We almost gave up and, uh, and then he said, yeah, of course you can drive with us. And now we're gonna explore the town. It looks absolutely stunning. Oh. Bogota or como Londres. So he just told me that this city is now a tourist city, but it used to be very, very important, as important as London or Bogota for uh, Colombia, the capital. So, and you can see because it's very, very beautiful and it's much, much bigger than I expected it to be. And there's also a lot of tourists now, it's completely packed, maybe because it's a Sunday. Wow, super bonito. Sí. Y esta ciudad tiene cuántos años, más o menos? 600 más o menos. 500. No, 600. 600. Sí. So this city is more than or around 600 years old and uh, he just told me look at the structures of the houses because you can see it's uh, it's just like 600 year old architecture right the big stones in the bottom you can see this in peru as well look at this the famous square this is probably the highlight of the city so the music you hear in the background is uh, is typical from this region I'm so happy that I'm with this man because he tells me all the information look an airplane flying as to primera vez aquí muchas veces ah <laughs> what do you think of this city? It's amazing. It's so beautiful, it's so right? So big, so nice. You have the mountains in the, in the in the yeah, a lot of people. You're right. Yes, but we are Sunday. Uh, it's Sunday. That's what I said to the the viewers as well. It's probably because it's Sunday, but you have a monton. <laughs> it's in Spanish. You have a lot of people. Little church here. Wow. It reminds me. Actually, it reminds me a lot of Cusco in Peru. It's a similar, similar city, yeah. La catedral, la iglesia, es totalmente en piedra. Wow. En piedra. The stone, completely built of stone, right? The, the cathedral. I love that you can see the mountains everywhere around the city. Now, we were told that this city or this town, is it a, is it a city or a town? We, we were told that this place is a little bit expensive but we managed to find pretty cheap hostels because we just booked a, a hostel like a dorm room so a bed in a room with other people for 22,000 that's about five dollars I think not too bad same as we paid in Bogota oh we're taking a picture <laughs> yes <laughs> what, what do we do? I don't want to block people. Yeah. Yes, yes. These are also, uh, they were also in the car of, uh, of the kind man. So, uh, what's happening? Gold de Colombia. Gold de Colombia. Gold. So we just heard lots of people shout all over the, the city and uh, that's because there was a goal, a Colombian uh, goal in football.
Thank you, thank you. Gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Ciao. Amazing people. As I told you, they saved us because otherwise we would still be standing in the middle of nowhere next to the road. And uh, we were actually planning to uh, give up on hitchhiking and maybe walk here. That would be one hour. Two hours. Uh, two hours, yeah, uphill. So uh, I'm glad they picked us up, really. Anyways, in, uh, in another day, maybe tomorrow, I will make uh, another vlog about this place. Maybe we try some traditional food, I don't know. But for now, I think I am just gonna sign off. I'm a little bit tired of traveling and uh, we're gonna go to the hostel, drop our bags. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay awesome. See you on the next one.